Okay, in this video we are going to be going through another um, partial fractions question. This one's going to be slightly trickier because in this one we've got an x minus 3 squared in the denominator. And that adds an extra dimension to this problem because in order to set it up as an equivalent um, function, or equivalent uh, expression rather, we must use a over x plus 2 and b over x minus 3, but we can't use c over x minus 3, we've got to use c over x minus 3 squared. Now, if you're wondering as to why, the, why that is true and why that works, um, it's really best to just say it as try it both ways and convince yourself of which one should work. Um, the ins and outs of it are a little bit more complicated. So, once we're at that stage, we can multiply through by the x plus 2, x minus 3 squared. We're going to get 3x squared plus 2 is equivalent to a lots of x minus 3 squared plus b lots of x plus 2, x minus 3, because it's, when I multiply through by this, I'm going to get one of the x minus 3s cancelling, but I'm still going to be left with one of them and the x plus 2. And I've got c lots of x plus 2. I now choose values of x that are going to eliminate brackets. Um, I'm going to choose x is minus 2 because that will get rid of this bracket and that bracket. So I've got minus 2 squared is 4, 3 4 is 12, plus the 2 is 14. It's going to be equal to a times minus 2 minus 3 squared. So minus 2 minus 3 is 5, minus 5 squared is 25, so 25a is 14, so a is 14 twenty fifths. Then to get b, um, or c rather I think is the one that I can get here, I'm going to let x equals 3 that will cancel out that bracket and that bracket. So I get 3 lots of 3 squared, so that's 27, plus the 2 is 29. And I get left with 3, uh, sorry, not 3, C lots of 3 plus 2. So I've got 5C is 29, so C is 29 fifths. Now, I've used up possible values of x that is going to cancel out the brackets, but I still have b to find. Now, that causes a little bit of a problem. However, because I am working with an equivalency symbol here, that means that this is true, that this side is always equal to this side for all values of x. And because it's equivalent, I can choose whichever value of x I like. So I might as well choose a value of x to substitute in that is very easy to work with. And that is 0, for example. So x is 0, let's try that. So I get 3 lots of 0 squared plus 2, so that's just 2. Now I already know what a is. That's 14 25ths. Lots of 0 take away 3, so minus 3 squared. Plus b lots of 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 3 plus c lots, because I know what c is, 29 fifths, lots of 0 plus 2. This is where the calculator is going to have to come out. So, we have 2 is equal to 14 over 25 times by 9 is 126 over 25, uh, minus 6 lots of b, plus 29 over 5 times by 2, so 58 over 5, so 6b is going to be equal to, add those together, take the 2 away, so 366 over 25, so b divided through by 6 is 61 over 25. 
So we now have our three values, our A, B and C. A was uh, 14 25ths. B was 61 25ths. And C was 29 fifths. Okay, we've got our three values, A, B and C. And we can write the left hand side, this rational, exp this rational function, the expression, as a trio of uh, rational expressions. Okay, and that's how we can go through this more complicated example.